boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen, on the down the mountain side, the somber stone on all the roses falling. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz. And today we're going to look at the Angry Connor, the British realistically Irish tier 5 tank destroyer it's a premium tank and some of you have had this recently pop up in your store now the thing about this tank is it goes backwards rather than forwards but we'll get to that in a moment that's what the beastie looks like it's basically a small little tank with a gun smacked on the top facing the wrong way Damage wise, you're going to knock out 160. Rate of fire is just over 12 and a half rounds a minute. Penetration for a little tier 5 is pretty good. Armor, <laughs> what armor? Come on. Speed, bit of a misnomer, um, as we'll find out in a moment. And rotation, how quickly it turns, is not bad at all. When we look at the more detailed stats, it's got 600 hit points and hardly any armor. As you can see there, 20 mil everywhere it's absolutely paper thin view range for this little tank it's not too bad 255 meters camo value just above average it's pretty nice especially when moving dpm well you're gonna do 2030 which is pretty good reload time just over four and a half seconds penetration on your ap is 180 apcr 251 which is pretty high for a tier 5 TD. Damage, you're going to knock out 160 on your AP, 135 on your APCR, and 200 on your HE. Aiming time, just over 3 seconds. Depression, 7 degrees, which doesn't seem a lot, but it really is quite enough on this little thing. Elevation is 15 degrees. Gun traverse, you've got 23 degrees left and right. Mobility, forward. 12 kilometers reverse 32 why because it's mounted backwards the gun is mounted incorrectly and we'll talk about that in a moment now let's have a look at the armor although i don't know why i'm bothered showing you this there is no armor i mean it is just a gun pasted on top of a paper tank and i'm going to show you now this is a tier 5 tank it can pen it of course it can easily not a problem what if we try it with a tier three maybe oh look tier three can pen it easily as well Ooh. what about if we go all the way down to tier one ah let's have a look panzerkampfwagen two a tier one light tank ah yeah you're not going to struggle to pen the archer if you're in a tier one panzerkampfwagen two but anyway let's have a look a bit more about this history firstly let's start with the history of the tank itself now, in real life, this was actually called the Archer. It was never called the Angry Connor. I'll get to that in a moment. Basically, they wanted to have a tank destroyer. So they got a Valentine and they thought, yes, this is nice. And they wanted to put a big gun on the top of a Valentine. In fact, they just wanted to put a 17 pounder, which is a pretty big anti-tank gun on the top. Thing was, it didn't fit. So they had to turn it and rotate it and point it backwards this is why the tank goes in reverse because the gun is actually mounted over the engine deck so it's all arse about face basically the reason it goes faster in reverse than it does going forwards is because you're actually not going in reverse you're actually going forwards just that the gun is facing the wrong way now i did try to look at the history of angry connor itself and i'll be honest with you I found a few bits in bobs, but mostly everything came from World of Tanks. The The story goes that um, an Irishman, Garrett O'Connor, uh, was pretty annoyed that Ireland was not in the war and he, he wanted to fight Nazis. So he basically legged it to the UK uh, with a few other Irishmen and he ended up being a commander on one of these archers and he painted it Angry Connor for whatever reason. And the story goes that there's something in that barrel at the back. It was shot by the Germans, but it didn't get blown up. Nobody knows what's in the barrel, and Garrett O'Connor himself said he would only open the barrel at the end of the war. Unfortunately, 
that is all the history I can tell you on the actual Angry Connor itself. And as you can see in the game, it has a little leprechaun, which is obviously the Irish roots to it. And it has a, 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 a barrel of something on the back, which is probably Jameson's, if Gary O'Connor was a true Irishman, or it could be Guinness, who knows? So the Angry Connor itself isn't, strictly speaking, a British tank. It's, it's more an Irish tank. It was crewed by an Irish crew and commanded by Garrett O'Connor, who was an Irish citizen. Okay, he served in the British Army, so and it is a British Army tank, i.e. the Archer. But let's be honest, guys, it's more of an Irish-themed tank, and you get it for St. Patrick's Day when it came out originally. That doesn't distract away from the tank. I mean, the tank itself is hilarious to play. Going backwards everywhere on the battlefield is traumatic and testing because you've got to try and work out how to swing this tank round to get the gun facing in the right direction. And if you try and move this thing forwards, you're going to struggle. The gun itself is beautiful. It's a fantastic gun. And as you can see, I mean, we took two kills there and did, what, 1,300 damage. We only get a second class, but we get a lot of credits because it's a beautiful little premium tank and a really good credit earner. As I said, the testing part of this tank is you've got to drive everywhere kind of backwards, but you're not actually going backwards. In the game, you're going backwards, but in real life, you're actually going forwards. Um, and this is the thing, which is why your speed backwards is better than your speed forwards. And that takes quite a lot of effort. It takes a lot of skill. And, it, it, you know, you've got to try and get your brain around the fact that your gun's pointing the wrong way. And to maximize this tank, you, you've got to sort of realize where you're going to position it and how you're going to position it. Because it's not easy. Driving everywhere backwards with the gun pointing in the opposite direction is pretty difficult and it can actually turn your mind a little bit. However, once you get it into a good position, once you've mastered that, the gun is a dream. It is beautiful to play. It really is. It's a great fun tank. I mean, it's bizarre. Of course it is because you're going backwards. But look at this gun. I mean, it's just awesome. Beautiful, beautiful gun. Great aim time, great load time, great damage, great penetration. And you can have a lot of fun in this little thing. Problem is, it has zero armor. If you get a bounce, it's more luck than judgment because it really is paper thin. I mean, 20 millimeters is nothing. Other than that, the gun, it, well, that's the business end of every tank. And in this, more so. You can't rely on anything but the gun. And it, we did, what, 1,224 there. We took three kills. Again, we only get a second class, but we get a shed load of credits, and I enjoy playing the Angry Connor. A couple of more games, a couple of replays sent to me. This is from a good friend of mine, Kill Warrior Destroyer of the Clan Albert C. Rolling out in his Angry Connor on Fort Despair on the EU server. And as you can see, I mean, if you put it in a position like this, this is the, the TD spot on this particular map, you can farm away because the gun is nice. It's a very accurate gun. It's got a nice, you know, rotation both left and right degrees. 23 degrees left and right is pretty nice. And you can do a lot in this thing. Camo profile is above average, so it's pretty hard to spot you. Okay, after you fired, that goes down. Oh, what a beautiful shot that was. After you fired, obviously your camo profile goes down, but on the move and stationary, boy, you're pretty, pretty nicely covered. He's already taken one kill. He's already dished out 500 on damage, and he's just given that stuggy a bit of a hard time. Oh, hello, Nashorn. How you doing? Let's pick some HE into you. Get a low roll, however. Let's smack some more HE into you and get another low roll. <laughs> now, get out of there going backwards, which, don't forget, you get great speed going backwards, not so good going forwards. And this is the trick with the Angry Connor. Mastering how to manoeuvre this tank is difficult, but once you understand it, once you get used to it, it's effective. 
and you can have some really good fun in it. And as you can see here, going forward, you know, is not is not ideal. So you've got to go backwards. He's mindful about where that gun is pointing, and he's wondering how do I spin the gun round to get it onto the thing. And this is what he's going to do. He's there. You go. Spin it round. Boom. Missed. <laughs> But he was in the right spot. There he goes. He gets it this time. 1,394 damage. He's going to take the kill here. Yes. Kill number four. 1,545 damage. Obviously, he doesn't get kill number five. Game over. But that's how you play the Angry Connor. It's a bit of fun. It's a well-deserved first class. And again, some nice credits. This is the last game. This is Sheet Happens 23 of the Clan OC. He's on mines in his Angry Connor, again on the EU server. And at the moment, he's having a bit of a tussle with an A20, who has decided that he wants to be a TD too. And damn the rest of you. I don't care, Angry Connor, if you are really a TD. I am an A20. I am going to be a TD for the day also. So leave me alone. I'm just going to sit here, and there's not a thing you can do about it. You're in an Angry Connor. It's a shame, but Sheet Happens gets around it anyway. He's already smacked some damage into those poor reds over there, and he's got 155 on the board. The A20 really isn't going to move. <laughs> the A20 really is just going to sit there and camp. It's to be expected. I mean, it happens. As, as the name says, Sheet Happens, and... You know, unfortunately, you get sheet happening in games like this, and A20s being driven like this. Not to worry, because, oh, no, the A20 has decided sheet happens even more. <laughs> I'm just going to block you now. Hello, Electo. I would have tried to smack some more into you, but the A20 decided that he wanted more fun than me. Oh, the A20 moves a little bit, allowing Sheet Happens to finally get the position he required and needed from the off. Thankfully, the A20 is now bugged out. This allows Sheet Happens to get shots in and across the map onto those Y5 T34s. And what a gun this is. I mean, the dispersion is nice for this little T. Oh, no, A20's back. <laughs> A20 said, no, 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 me, me, me. I want more fun than you. How dare you? You're a TD in the TD spot. I am not a TD. I am an A20. And I just want to save all my little hit points until the end of the game. And I don't want to do anything. I don't want to use the tank for what it's designed for. I'm going to do what I want to do. This makes sheet happen do other things. Thankfully he gets away with that. He smacks the KV-1 and takes him out of the game. He's at 1066 damage now. There's an Electo up there somewhere. The Y5s are still over there. The A20 is still where the A20 wants to be. In low bathtub. Oh, I'm going to now use the A20, says she tappens, as my shield and kill the bathtub. <laughs> this is just a great game. I don't know what's better, watching Sheet Happens shoot things or watching Sheet Happens tussle with the A20. Either way, it's great comedic value. I mean, he's decided, I've had enough of you, A20. You are boring me. I'm moving. I'm getting out of here. And I don't want to see you again. And if you turn up, well, Sheet Happens. <laughs> oh, the y 5 still over there. Can Sheet Happen get him? Wait for the aim time to come down. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Oh, Electo. Hello. Smack you a bit. You've got just as good enough armor as me, says the angry Connor. I'm going to chase you down, Electo. I don't know where the A20 has gone. Is the A20 dead or is the A20 moved somewhere? It looks like the A20 may have moved to take out the Y534. I don't know. I can't see. Oh, it'd be interesting. Oh, the A20 is moving in for a kill. This is this is interesting. So, oh, Electo, Electo, shoot the Electo. Boom, Electo's gone. The A20 is actually getting involved in the... Oh, no, the A20 is dead. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, it's going to be an interesting game. Can he win this game? There's a Y5 over there. He tries to do a blind shot over the Stug. Didn't work. Oh, there's somebody on the base. And he's at 80. Oh, it's another Y5. T-34. And the Connor's not been spotted. Boom! He's spotted now because he's just fired. 
interesting. Oh, he takes one back in return, but because his reload is quite nice, he's able to smack that 34 for quite a few, and then bugs out of there. He's very aware that there's another Wi-Fi 34 hanging around, he knows he's going to probably come up and try and take him out. I mean, he's only on 174 hit points. Realistically, he's a one-shot. He, uh, he, I mean, the 34 is not going to struggle to pen, let's be honest. So if the 34 plays his game correctly, then he should be able to hurt him a lot. But he doesn't. Oh, he misses. Oh, he's down to 25 HP. The Y34 fired AP. Interesting. Should have fired HE, mate. Not to worry. Oh, what's going to happen? Who's going to win this tussle? It's a battle of the nerves. I mean, both are a one-shot. Literally, both are a one-shot. The Y34 I, does have the edge. As you can see here, Sheet happens can't do anything about the base at this moment in time. He, he's got to take something. So he pretends, does he pretend, to go to the base? The Y34 can see him moving, but because he's going forwards, aka backwards, he oh no, he's going to no, he's not going to ignore him. He's going to swing the gun back round. The Y34 is now there. Hello, goodbye. That is very well played. 2,273 damage. Kill number four. The other Y34. Oh, he's only a few away. Oh no, he's not. We're going to reset the cap because sheet happens. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, oh, misses. Not to worry. All he needs is one shot. Use that gun depression. And there we go. 2,500. Five kills and mega base recaps. They reset the cap twice. That is a wow deserved mastery indeed. That has been the Angry Connor. Um, I've been Fujit. I'd like to thank Kill Warrior Destroyer of Alba C and Sheet Happens 23 of OC for kindly sharing their replays. I'm very grateful to you guys. The Angry Connor is not in the store. It came up as a pop-up. Uh, I don't know if it's still come up as a pop-up. If it is, it's a comedic tank. It's wow worth a look, guys. It's difficult to drive. It's interesting, but it does put a smile on your face. I hope that has been informative. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. It's a beautiful thing to do. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or join my Discord server where you can upload them even easier. By all means, you can now follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and even Instagram. And until the next time, I will say, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because, you know, that's what it's all about, having fun and being happy.